don't know a dog can be a great companion, but they do pose some liabilities for the owners. In this week's Know the Law segment, Tom Stein is here to talk about what you need to know to protect yourself and your family. A lot of people have dogs and they don't think about what could happen. That's right. Wonderful thing to have. Yeah. But you got to remember, if you're a dog owner in the state of Michigan, we have what's called strict liability, okay? Which means that you, as the dog owner, are responsible for anything that that dog does. We do not have a free bite law, okay? Some states have what's called a free bite law. In Michigan, you're liable if your dog bites someone, regardless of whether you knew or should have known or could have known. First time, you're on the hook. So what happens if your dog does bite somebody? If your dog does bite somebody, you want to make sure, first of all, that you've got insurance, right? right? So you got to do that before the dog bite happens. The most common place that people are going to get insurance to cover them if their dog hurts someone is their homeowner's insurance mm -hmm. policy. So first of all, if you're a homeowner, make sure that there's coverage under your homeowner's policy for dog bites. But what if you're not a homeowner? What if you're a renter? This is another reason to get renter's insurance and to make sure that your renter's insurance covers you for dog bites. Because the last thing you want to have happen is, heaven forbid, your dog bites someone. Right. You're responsible for those, that person's medical bills, as well as what we call their non-economic damages, their pain, suffering, disfigurement, those kind of things. I mean, that could be tens of thousands of dollars. Easily. Just to repair a dog bite wound or a, dog bite, a surgery required by a dog bite can be tens of thousands of dollars. You don't want to find out that you didn't have any insurance after that dog bit someone. Is there a, a certain amount of insurance you should make sure that your coverage is for when it comes to your homeowner's policy? Or do you just call up your agent and say, hey, what am I covered for if my dog bites somebody? You know, the thing about insurance coverage is you can get a lot for not a lot of money, right? right? So I think if, if you're a homeowner, you want to make sure that you've got at least a half a million dollars in liability coverage. Good idea. Okay, in addition to your homeowner's coverage, in addition to the, to the coverage to replace your home if it's we, somewhere. We talked about renters. What if you're the landlord? You have some liability too. You might. So a landlord obviously is not the dog owner, mm -hmm. right? But what if the landlord leases an apartment to a tenant and the landlord knows that, that there's a vicious dog. There's a premises. vicious dog. Yeah. Okay? Under Michigan law, that landlord may have an obligation to take steps to protect people from that vicious dog. And the landlord may be liable if that vicious dog attacks someone. So this isn't again to be a downer about right. dogs, right? Just understand that they are animals, mm -hmm. they can hurt people, and make sure you've got a plan in place to protect you or whoever else gets hurt if something bad happens. If somebody has a question about the law or they've been hurt in an accident, you guys can uh, help them out, right? Anytime. 616-301-3333 in Grand Rapids. Online, www.sinusdramus.com or shoot us an email at info at sinusdramus.com. What about skateboarding bulldogs? Am I liable? Next week's subject. Right. Thanks, Tom.